If you are listening to me right now, you are an anarchist. And I don't mean because you've chosen to listen to me. I mean because you are a living, breathing human being who has clearly demonstrated free will. That's right. Believe it or not, you own yourself and should never let anyone else tell you otherwise. And any attempt to deny this fundamental fact of human existence is an attempt to deny your very free will. Now, what does it mean to be an anarchist? Specifically, anarcho-capitalist, because that's the only true form of anarchy. Every other adjective applied or, or descriptor or, or, or attempt to, to, to use anarchy to somehow paint this beautiful, harmonious reality that we are working towards, that we are evolving towards, is an attempt to slander the word or somehow deny the truth or to somehow impose some other system of rule upon you. But what does it mean? Anarchy, fundamentally, breaking it down. It doesn't mean no rules. It doesn't mean chaos. It means no rulers. But those who would rule over you, those who would take advantage of your gullibility will tell you, oh no, if you don't have rulers, you can't have rules. Who will decide what these rules are? You can't, you can't possibly figure them out for yourselves, you poor little peons, you know. And if you don't have rulers, it's just gonna be chaos and craziness, and blood in the streets, anarchy, oh no, be very afraid. <laughs> but that kind of anarchy is exactly what we have today in the statist world full of governments where, where are the authorities in our lives dictate so much of what we do on a daily basis. It has clearly taken us away from the natural state of human beings, to be the alphas of our own lives, to be in charge of ourselves, to come together communally, yes, but not by force and coercion, but by, by, by voluntary, chosen associations. So what do we have today in the world around us? We live in a world not of anarchy, not of, not of this beautiful harmony of, of, of respect for each other's rights as human beings, for your very free will. But we live in this grand delusion, the great lie of our time, that is you need someone to be in charge of you as a human being. That somehow, without an authority imposing its will on you by force, well, there might just be some negative consequences. Be afraid, be very afraid. So how is it that by virtue of watching this video you're an anarchist? Even if you deny it, how is it possible? How can it, how can it be that I can take just the simple fact that you are watching this video and apparently still listening to me as proof that you're an anarchist? Well, it's quite simple. You're exercising your will, free will. Any attempt to justify a coercive state or to deny this fundamental fact that you are <laughs> you crazy little anarchist, you, in charge of your own life, is a denial of the fact that you own yourself. Is an attempt to deny free will itself. Now, should you choose to have a leader? Because it's built into our DNA. It really is. Now, now demonstrated to look up to others. Celebrity culture didn't happen by accident. It's not just some modern fluke of, 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 of technology in the media, although that certainly defines its form and scale in today's world. No, we are, we're programmed to look up to others. The question is, do we submit? Will we allow others to make choices for us? Or is that even possible? Because in the world that I am envisioning, that we are working towards, that I, that I believe, that I see right before me from all of the clear evidence of human progress up to this point. A voluntary society. The destiny of humanity. What is it that we as individuals have to recognize in order to achieve this reality? That when you choose a leader, <laughs> you're still choosing 
you're still exercising your free will. And if you should say, well, no, if the government wants to make something illegal, yeah, I, my right to do it doesn't exist anymore. If, well, if the collective has said that they, that they want to make something illegal here, then, then I'm just not going to do it. Well, I'm, guess what? You're choosing to go along with it. And the reality is, if you go against the will of this collective of people who are trying to deny you your will, as long as you're exercising your rights, the domain over your own body and your own justly acquired property and not, not limiting anybody else's access to their equitable share of natural resources, you're not violating their rights to their body, their person, or, or their legitimate property, then yes, the collective will use force against you for doing something that it doesn't like. But in that instance as well, the collective is justifying anarchy. They are showing, they are proving by the very exercise of free will in any moment, the, with every breath you take as a human being, you are proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are an anarchist, that it is impossible for someone else to make a decision for you. The question is, how then with this new vision, with this new understanding, will you relate to the rest of the world? How will you embrace your own free will? How will you assert your own self-ownership? Will you believe that you are a free, beautiful, independent human being who owns yourself? Or will you continue to let others convince you otherwise? Sir, this is your last Whoa, whoa! Hey, hey, hey! And this is Law and Order.